but just before we walk and recuperate myself, Lady Tina, would you come here for a second? I want you to tell them about the well page that they can go to to donate. You can tell me about. Come, come, come tell me about that, Lady Tina. This is Pastor Martin's wife. Amen. 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 Encourage us. Mistake I made. 
All right? Let's get into the text. Let's see what Jesus comes. Jesus gives us a perfect example. Matthew 23 and 9, and it reads. And call no man your father upon the earth, mm -hmm. for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. Jesus fixed it where that individuals that even wanted to be great, they could not be great through any type of inheritance of authority or election or birth. A uh, 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 greatness has to come through serving. <laughs> In the world, that system, those that be great, they become great with wealth, they become great with armies, uh, military, uh, through uh, birth, uh, the, the, the royal family in England, uh, their, their children, uh, for generations and generations, will inherit their wealth and their authority and their position. But Jesus said, if you would be the servant, you would be greatest. He said, oh, he said, do not call any man master. Master means owner. See, when we say Jesus our Lord and Savior, we're saying he owns us. And you need to read the original text. So if you if you testify, you know, I thank God for Jesus, my Lord and my Savior, you're saying he owns you. But he said, call no man on the earth master. And then he said, call no man upon the earth father, which means your source. 11 verse, I mean uh, 12 verse. And whosoever shall exalt himself mm -hmm. shall be abased. Come on. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. So it's just the opposite of the way the world does it. If you seek to exalt and elevate yourself, God will abase you. God will bring you down. Y'all right. been here with me? You can try all you want to. Send in, okay, we have Pastor Michael Exum coming. Uh, he reads for Bishop J. He's over the apartments at the Father's house of Bishop J. And, and if I try to exalt myself and slip in some of my good DVDs, All right. <laughs> anybody hear what I just said? Yeah, yeah. Trying to exalt myself, trying to use the, the connection that we have with the individual, Brother Bobby Gibson, who's, uh, you said he's going to, he and Sister Emma's going to send, Bobby Gibson is the uh, uh, assistant pastor for Dr. Tony Evans, and I've never said, here, here's a tape, and uh, let Dr. Evans listen to my tape. All right. If you try to exalt yourself, God will keep you down. Yes, I'll never forget this, and preach it on the hip all with this. Whenever you go to the service, Jesus said, don't ever come up and try to sit in the first seat. He said, because somebody else will come in more important than you. Then you'll be embarrassed because they'll ask you to step down. That's the Bible. And I've been in funeral services where very prominent individuals have passed and prominent pastors are there and they're all trying to get up front and get in line. And they, they jock in for a position. I'm standing back in the corner because I remember what Jesus said. They that be last, shall be first. They that be first. Y'all mind it? And so those that were jockeying for the first position, they came walking in the sanctuary first, all dignified. But when they went to their seat, they went all the way to the end. And, and the, those of us that were down here on this end, we ended up in the first seat. So when you go to the front, don't try to get all up front there with the past and all that. Don't get that detail in. You, you don't. Y'all it yet? So Jesus said, if you try to exalt yourself, you will be abased. He said, but if you humble yourself, if you take the Lord's seal, this is the Bible, then he'll say, come. He'll bid you up to come a little high. He'll come up a little high. That's the Bible. So you take the Lord's seal. Take the back position. They made you sit at the back of the bus. Y'all not here? Not only did we drive buses, now we own buses. The last time we went to Florida, it was a, a, a black owned bus company. Y'all not in here with me. So, so, so Jesus said, if you'll serve, you'll become great. Read it. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, mm -hmm. and hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. Come on. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go. There are some people that are entering. They own their way. They own their way to follow God, to do what God wants them to do. But the hypocrite, the Pharisee, that Pharisaic mentality, the scribes, these individuals are individuals that keep you from going in. 
What is a, a Pharisee? A Pharisee, the Pharisees believed everything. Amen. But they were clean. Can I say that? Amen. They hid from everything, but they were clean. Mm. They were clean freaks. Mm. The Bible said, Jesus said that you're all strained at a net. You strain at a net. They believe if a net was to fall in their cup, that that net would defile them. So they would take a cloth and put it over the cup and strain their water just in case a net. Y'all didn't hear. Not in here. They were so clean that they, they, they always were washing their hands and they said, Jesus, your disciples were going through the cornfield and they were shut in the corner, but they didn't wash their hands first. Well, I, I told y'all that these are my hands. And if my hands are going to put my food in my mouth, and it's not bothering me. Why, why would you be concerned about where my hand been and I'm putting it in my mouth? A Pharisee will put on you burdens. Jesus said he'll put burdens on your shoulder and won't even take a little finger. Take the, the little finger to help you lift it. But he'll put the burden on your shoulder. So a Pharisee is a clean person. Very clean. All very righteous. All oh, very, I'm just spiritual and I'm in the line at Walmart. Oh, praise God. Don't do me like that in Walmart. It's not the place for that. Y'all not in there. The scribes, who were scribes? The scribes were lawyers. But they were the one entrusted with copying the scriptures. Letter for letter. The scripture called it jot and tittle. How I many you know the Bible? The Bible says that the word is so perfect. That every jot and tittle. Uh -huh. He said, if, if, if heaven and earth, Amen. it could pass away. Amen. But the word would. Amen. So then you had scribes, Pharisees, and hypocrites. Hypocrites deal with individuals that's hypercritical. <laughs> Many people think a hypocrite is somebody that does one thing, says one thing, and does something else. That's a part of it. But the rest of it is they're hypocritical. So he said the hypocritical, the Pharisee, the scribes, they shut up the kingdom of heaven. Shut it up. Because of what the pressures that they put on individuals, the things that they teach, the things that they have folks going through, tell them that you got to wear your dress down to the ground. Now, I ain't, I'm not criticizing them, I'm just telling you what they try to do. That's what Jesus said. He said, he said your, your, your clothing ladies just should be adorned with modesty. Now, it's up to you to decide what modesty is. It's not up to me to tell you what modesty is. Yeah. Because your modesty, it may be different than my modesty. Y'all yeah. not in here. Yeah. And so what, what, what they try to do is project up on you, then there are little hang-ups. So then, he says, he said that they shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for neither are they going in. He said, but they also are keeping those that are entering from going in. Yeah. Fourteen. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, mm -hmm. for ye devour widows' houses, Come on. and for a pretense make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Read it. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte. A proselyte is a person.